Hey everybody, this is three generations of international tractors right here in three consecutive models. First we start with the W450. These were built from 1956 to 1958. They use a 281 cubic inch engine, a D281 is what they call them, and a four cylinder engine. They have a, an IH injection system. They have manual steering but with optional power steering which is a cylinder that goes in in between on this drag link. These have clamp on front tires, 750-18 which is pretty typical. Well bath air cleaner. 12 volt positive ground system, although the gas ones, some of them had 6 volt. Dev it, the back tires are, are there again, very typical, 18.430s. These are the last tractors the International had that started on gasoline. And here's the swinging drawbar, fairly heavy duty, like. Compared to a Farmall, they're very heavy duty. Although on the Farmall 450s, they beefed them up a bit from the ends. Here's the live power takeoff. And it's got a torque amplifier, mechanical live takeoff, and a mechanical torque amplifier. And the five speed manual transmission. Here's your dash, you got your Ammeter, oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, here's your starter button, key switch, choke, light switch. It's the basic dash. Here's your uh, seat pan. Just got, a, just got the pan type seat. These have uh, disc brakes on them. Manual disc brakes. Here's your belt pulley gear, pulley, pulley bolts on this. And the hydraulic system, these uh, run off your distributor, these run in between your distributor, magneto, and uh, timing gears on these. Very typical. Just like the other, just like all, well, all the standard treads that offered hydraulics, like from the W6 up, had had that pump. The farm all some of them used the belly pump, but the standards never did. And these uh, have a fairly small fuel tank. The uh, they're cut off to about here. And the then let's see, like. The headlights are 6 inch and they uh, go on light posts, it's very typical, like the old ones. Like all, all the older standard treads have these light posts on them and, and lights it, uh, on a clamp. Now we move to the 560. This has a 281 cubic inch engine too, or slightly more, I think it's 281.3. The International calls them a D282. And those are D281. Uh, H injection pump. Rusa Master injection pumps. So these are a little rotary pump on these. These also have 75018 front tires on them. But they're disc type wheels. And uh, the 660, the bigger brother, uses these. Okay, the clamp ons. They're 75018s also, but they're. They're these, the clamp on just like the 450 has. And these directly start on diesel, they don't start on gas, they have glow plugs on them. And this, this had a belt pulley, like the 560s have that option they bolt right here, just like the 450 does. These also have an oil bath air cleaner like the 450 has. The fuel tank is larger. And it goes over the top of the engine. Uh, it's also got manual disc brakes on them. 
18.430 rear tires is very typical on these. With the 560s, the early ones had narrower fenders like the 450 has, but they're more rounded. And these have wide ones like the 706 has. And there again, these hydraulic levers are in the wrong place, but they should be mounted on the steering box just like the 450. In fact, the 450 is the same, has the same steering box as the 560. As for dash, these have all the things that the 450 has, except this has a glow plug meter because it's got glow plugs with a glow plug switch. And this, the 560's added a fuel gauge to them, whereas the 450 doesn't have that. The 560 has a 5 speed manual transmission with, opti with optional torque amplifier, just like the 450 has. And these torque amplifiers are manual like the 450 is, and these, tor these torque amplifiers, like, like the 450, you can't, they will free roll, free wheel when you go downhill. So they, uh, you always want, so they're, the, these manual torque amplifiers, you always want to make sure they're forward when you go downhill or have a, have a, pu a load push against you. This doesn't have the drawbar up, but it would be the same as the 450. They're very similar. And the 560 incorporates the hydraulic pump. It runs off the PTO shaft. And the rear end is filled with Hytran. The 450 has its own reservoir, and it doesn't hold that much. Hold me a gallon and a half is about all. And these are 12 volt negative ground. They switch to negative ground on these tractors. And the headlights are mounted on the side of the tractor just like the 450. Now we go to the 706. Yep, too has the 282 engine just like the 450 or, or the 560 has. But the resemblance stops there. It's got a dry type air filter, air cleaner that's new to the tractor. It has a new steering, a new front axle, and new steering system. The, the 560 and 450 front axles, are, I think, are the same, but they're very similar. But this is a whole new front axle. And the steering rod, this, this is what steers, this is what steers it, the hydrostatic steering system, and this cylinder is what turns the wheels back and forth. These are, you, you want to know the difference between the Farmall and the International 06 or 56 series? This is it. This is your, this is the difference. The Farmall has a completely different steering mechanism. These have 8 volt front hubs rather than 6 on the 560 and these use 750 20 fronts is very typical. The odd one may have 750 18s as well but 750 20s are typical. Set lights are mounted in the grill on the 706. At least the, the international 706. The firewalls are either mounted on the side near the near the back or they're mounted in the fenders if you have flat tops. The 706 uses uses these uh, long skinny batteries. The gas one uses a 112 volt on the right side, and the 560 uses two or the, the diesels use two six volts. The 706 has hydraulic disc brakes on them. They're hydraulically actuated disc brakes. 18.434 rear tires are very typical on a 706. Look at how heavy the drawbar is. Oh, on these standard tread 706s, you can get on the back or the front. And this one's a later one that's got the flasher on the fender, which the later ones have. And the PTO is hydraulically actuated. And it offers a, a thousand and a five forty, and that's a that's a real good thing. 
This one has double hydraulics on it, dual hydraulic valves, which most of them did, but the odd one has singles. Okay, your, uh, this is new. This has got a new cluster gauge on it. The idiot lights on the oil and amp. And then you got your fuel and water temperature. Now this is a 56 series gauge actually. That's what I, that's what I used that. The update when the old ones went bad, this is all I sold for a while. So that's what you used. You can get the black face gauges again brand new. They reproduce them. These have an 8 speed transmission with four, four reverse speeds. These, uh, they, of course, they, they, this, uh, this has a steering orbital rather than a steering box. And of course you got your glow plug controls. There's another thing new. This has a part brake on it that's in the transmission in the 560 and 450. You gotta lock the brakes on to hold them. Actually, those are better. But as far as the tractor goes, these are way better. The torque amplifier there again is optional on them, but the the ones that have them, which mo which is the vast majority of them. We have a hydraulic torque amplifier that can be run full time. You don't have to worry about free wheeling and running away on you if you put your t pull your torque back going downhill. You could run it full time, torque amplifier direct. It doesn't matter on these. And of course the seat, this is uh, got a way better seat on it than the 450 does, and the 560 is kind of in between. There's supposed to be there's supposed to be cushions on with the back. And you know with the back on them, it is safer. You don't have to, with these seats with the backs on, you don't usually have to go over backwards on it and get run over by the implement you're pulling. Now these 706s also have the hydraulic, you run high trend in the rear end, the hydraulics run the transmission in the rear end, the same oil. But these have extra pumps in them. You have a pump for your hydraulics, there's a pump on the PTO control, and there's a pump for your torque amplifier and your steering and your brakes. So there's three hydraulic pumps on these. Now these also have 12, or 12 volt negative ground, but they, uh, this tractor does have a generator and it may well be the last, one of the last international tractors to have that. But the 706 is the first model to offer an alternator as an option. And on the international 706s they have a step on the front that you get on you can get on off the front or the back. Whereas the farm malls you have to get on the front there you have to get off on off on the front on the farm malls. But uh these are the first standard tread tractors to offer a, a, a step on the front. These, uh, and that's why they put the lights on the, in the grill as, as this, uh, when the loaders come. Of course, when you put a loader on a tractor like that, you gotta throw the front lights off and putting them in, inside the grill, you don't have to. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, and you guys have a good day.